Okay. For today, I am going to draw on my tattoos of what I'm thinking I want, you know, to see if that's really what I want. Um, and I'm hoping maybe it'll help me decide a couple things, you know, it's not like I'm gonna get them all right now, maybe just add on a little bit in the future. So with me, I have this paper of things that I want, kind of like an inspiration feel board um, of, of things that, you know, hopefully I'll like. So right now I'm planning on maybe getting like a full sleeve on this arm. Right now I only have this flower, which I really enjoy. Glad I got it. It was my very first tattoo I got when I was 18. My dad um, called up his friend and he paid for it for my graduation gift. I want them all the same style. I want them all this kind of like line work. Maybe you can see that better. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to get going. So what I'm gonna start with is probably the snake. I want a happy snake, you know, I don't want to feel like a scary snake. I kind of have this snake here for reference because I really like this snake, but he also looks very scary and I I just like happy things. <laughs> okay, I have this little fine liner Sharpie. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this left-handed. Ah, okay, so keep in mind this is all gonna be left-handed, so obviously it's not gonna be the best, kind of, I guess, a rough idea. Shit, okay. I didn't even think about this. I'm a terrible person. So I kind of want the head to start right here. Jawline, right? Um, and so I'm trying to think of, I feel like I kind of messed it up already. Maybe I should have started the head here. That's what I should have done. Started the head here and wrapped him around. Well, okay. Learn from your lessons. All right, so that's probably the worst way I could have started out. Sorry. So let's, I only have so much daylight. I'm really hoping to get this finished. I'm sorry if I don't. Okay. We're gonna start him over here. Okay. And then he's gonna go. His neck is too skinny. I bet that'll hurt getting tattooed right there. Or like a bitch. Okay. And then we'll kind of bring him over here. You know what else I wanted though right here? Is another thing I was really wanting is Drake, um, like everyone knows, is like my favorite artist, like rapper, whatever. And he has this tattoo that I think is badass, and I think it's called the Eye of Horus. Um it's this one right here, and I really wanted that just because I kind of wanted something that he has. I know a lot of tattoo artists, like, if you come in, you're like, I want this because he's famous, like, I want the same thing. They think it's kind of dumb, but I mean, like, if I want it on myself, like, you know, I don't know, why not? So, but I kind of wanted that, like, right above my elbow. He has his on the inside of his arm. I guess I could fit it there. What do I want in the back of my arm? Let's see. Hell, maybe I'll get it right there. Okay some belly scales this is so awkward i'm not left-handed you know like his belly will show and then it won't show and then i'll wrap around and it'll maybe show like right here and i don't really want i really like in this snake how his scales are how he's like light you know he's not shaded he just has like light scales light lines um i'd probably get him like that as well Maybe I'll draw it. You know, I'll just draw it and then we'll see if, if we like it or not. Or, or what I could do is I was also kind of wanting an angel from the, you know, kind of like those paintings, like these angels right here. I kind of wanted to incorporate them as well. So maybe I would put an angel up here holding him. Maybe I'll put Frida right here. I also want Frida because, you know, she is one of the very first famous women artists. Really one of the only ones that come to my head like right off the bat you know we have like leonardo da vinci um we have pablo picasso we have um vincent van gogh like a ton of like just right off the bat those are, like the three main like guys um but she's like the very first her name's frida Kahlo. if you don't know who she is please google her there's a movie of her on hulu i believe it is and it's super interesting it's not like a documentary it's not boring it's a good movie very interesting of how she got into painting anyways there's my little rant about frida i'm gonna put frida right here yeah okay 
And I'll bring it up too. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll bring it up once I'm done, I swear. You know, the surprising thing about ears is they look super hard. They're really not as hard as they look. Now that kind of just doesn't really look like an ear, but we're gonna pretend like it is. Okay. She is also notorious for her unibrow. I feel like if you see a picture of her, you'll probably know who she is. I'll show you the picture once I'm done, but I mean, she's kind of like pictures of her are kind of common. Like even I was talking to my mom, I was like, you know, Frida, like the artist. And she was like, what? I, I feel like in my head, she's a lot more well known than she really is. Creative people, I feel like know who she is. Um, even if you're not an artist, I thought you know, but I don't know. I'm really super scared to get near my elbow tattooed. Tattoos really don't hurt that bad. Everyone thinks they hurt super bad. This literally did not hurt and it's pretty big. The part that hurt the most was, oh, I just drew on my shirt. The part that hurt the most was A, the inside of my arm. It starts to get more sensitive on the inside of your arm. So like the ends of these hurt. Um, down here hurt a little bit more too because it's getting close to my elbow. It's not even that close, but it still hurt more than like this main area. <laughs> okay, she looks ridiculous, but that's okay. Maybe I should like draw it on myself and then go in and just be like, do it, like tattoo what I have on my body right now, just because I did it, even though it looks ridiculous. In this picture, she has like thorns around her neck with some like blood drops dripping down. It's a little dark for me, myself, um, but it's kind of cute. Like it's cute looking, but like that's, that's dark, you know? So she also has a little bit of blush on her cheeks. Okay, we're gonna do an angel up here and see how we like it. I'm just gonna pause just so I can make sure you can still see me, okay? And if not, I'll turn on the light. We're gonna do an angel on my shoulder just to see how we like it. That's actually a really good idea. I want that painting of the 16th chapel somewhere where, yeah, I don't, we'll have to figure it out. Booty. His foot. His knee. He's got thick thighs. He's got a little back fat. And then it goes up right here to his arm. His hand way too big. And then ribs. So his belly button is right here. Wow, his arm is huge compared to his body. I'm liking the idea though. The idea is good. Okay, he looks super buff, but we all know. Okay, you know, like I said though, I kind of want them more separated, so it kind of tilt this way more. I don't want it so close to the flower. I want it to look kind of PC. That way. Um, I don't know if you want to place it right here though, because it's right on the tip of my shoulder, which is very round. And I know it's kind of interesting to tattoo on, like, the sh you have to know, like, the form. Like, I'm sure he's really good, and I'm sure he'll know, um, whether this is a good idea or not. Um, but, hopefully it is. And then we're gonna give him a little head. He's got some angel hair. An eye here, an eye here, a little nose. A little ear. Okay, and then he has wings. Hmm. I really enjoy this. I actually think I do want this at the top of my arm. See, I'm glad I did this today. And then see, that looks awkward as hell. I'll fix it. In real life, you know, we won't make it that bad. You know, in general, his body's all oblongated and weird. But we got the angel, his hand will only go this far, goes around, is holding the snake head, which is going to be a little bit smaller than that as well, wraps around, and we've got Frida, ooh, I love her there, because I feel like I can avoid getting like directly on my elbow, not done, in a casual way, because <laughs> I really don't want it. I know that it hurts so bad, and... 
you're thinking about it, do it. But think about it for a while. People think that I don't think about my tattoos for a long time. Like, they're always like, think about it like for a long time. Wait like a year like to get what you want. And like, I don't like just see something. I'm like, yep, I'm getting it. That's what I want. Like, I obviously think about it in my head a lot. And I plan like this in my head. But people just don't realize that I don't think because they're like, oh, like you didn't think about it long enough. Like you don't, like it's permanent, you know? It is permanent and I do, I've thought it through. Um, I've, th I've been thinking about the snake for months now, like a couple of months. I've always like an angel, I can't really go wrong with that. It's in paintings, like I love paintings. Like, you know, I'm always gonna love it. The snake is more risky, I feel like, because like I don't have a reason to put a snake on my arm. You don't need one. Like you really don't have to have a reason to get a tattoo of something. Um, people like it more when they ask you and you give them like a story or something, but so what? It doesn't really matter what they want, you know? It matters what we want. There's Middle Orient. <laughs> um, what else would I want? I don't even know if I want to keep going. Like, you know, I was gonna do like a full sleep in this video, but I don't really have anything else planned out. It is getting dark. The sun has set. You can't see me very well. I'm just gonna end it here because, um... I'm not even sure if I want a full sleeve, you know, I'm just saying that just because I like the way they look, but I don't have plans for it yet. So it's a good idea, I feel like, to kind of draw it on yourself to figure out what layout you want. Um, obviously it's not going to be perfect, that's fine, I had to erase them, you know, whatever. Okay, thank you so much for watching um, my half sleeve tattoo, I want to say tutorial, but I didn't really tour anything. Thank you for watching. All right, so I'm just gonna put in the video what my half sleeve looks like in the light because you couldn't really see it that well in the dark. I apologize, but here it is. There's my angel. A little ski wampus, but that's fine. There's the snake wrapping around, kind of around this flower. It'll go down next to my elbow, and then there's Frida. Um, obviously, she really look like this. She's gonna be different. But there is the half, kind of what I'm thinking. I don't really have anything on the inside of my arm right now. But that's it, so thanks.